Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to share 10 tips, tricks, and hidden features of your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Whether you already have your Samsung Galaxy S8 and want to enhance your experience or want to get one, this video will showcase some superb tactics to get you better acquainted with the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Let's dive right in and start discovering. All right, so the first tip I wanna share with you guys is how to customize the navigation button colors at the bottom here. So as you can see right now, it's in transparent mode, which is the normal mode you're gonna see when you're in the home screen itself. But what you could do is if you go into the settings, as you can see, the color is now different. To change the color, you go into display, you scroll all the way down and you go into navigation bar, you tap this, and then from here you can pick any color that you desire. So there are some preset colors over here that you can pick from if you so desire, or you can tap this and pick basically any color that you want. My favorite color, of course, is this one over here, so that's what I'm gonna keep. So while we are here, I'm also gonna give you the second hidden feature, which is the button layout feature. Now, as it is right now, we have the home button in the middle, the back key over here on the right, and the recents key on the left. So if I tap this, it takes me back. But if I want to uh, modify that, I can uh, do so. What you want to do is you want to tap on button layout, and then you can pick the second order here, where the back key gets over here, the recent key gets over here. So this is basically all about which layout you're more comfortable with. Now, while we are here, I'm going to show you one more thing before I exit. Uh, if you look over here, it says unlock with home button. And as you know, that is the home button. And that home button even works when the whole display is off. So let's say you don't have a security setup. Let's say you don't have fingerprint setup. Let's say you don't have iris setup. What you could do is if you enable this, and if you press and hold on this button while your screen is off, it's going to skip the lock screen and go straight into your home screen without you having to swipe the screen to unlock. So right now I have a pin. So if I shut the phone off, I can press and hold on this and it takes me into the pin or the iris scanner. So let me just put in my uh, pin number here and go right inside. If I did not have that pin or did not have any kind of other security, it would have gone straight to my home page right over here. All right, so that's that. Let's move on to the next tip. The next tip has to do with the edge panels. We all know what the edge panels are. You go into the settings as usual, you go to display, and at the bottom here, it's gonna say the edge screen. You tap it and make sure it is enabled. Now, when you tap this, you can go and you can customize the edge panels. You can customize the panels you wanna see when you swipe this over. But that's not what I wanted to show you. What I really wanna show you is this smart select panel that is new on the Samsung Galaxy S8. This smart select panel, as a matter of fact, is a replica of the air command menu that you get with the Samsung Galaxy Note phones. So let me show you what it does. Again, it's activated right now, so that's the only thing that I have right now. What I could do is if I tap on rectangle, I can choose any portion of the screen rectangularly, click done, and that's gonna allow me to take a screenshot of that area that I selected and I can even extract the text from it. So if I tap this, it's gonna extract all the text that is seen within the selected area. So it extracted 55, Clifton Heights, and all that little text you see at the bottom. Let's close it out, show you one more thing with the same tip. Uh, again, if you swipe over for the edge panels and activate the Smart Select, you can also do this, so you can go oval shape. So I can select this area, click Done, and that's gonna take a screenshot of that area that I selected. When I click save, it goes into the gallery. So if I go into my apps, and if I go into my gallery right over here, uh, I'll see that selected area right over here. As you can see, it is circular in nature. Okay, so make sure you guys activate the smart select and start to benefit from this nice, beautiful feature that has been transitioned into the S8 from the Note series of phones. Now let me jump right into the next tip. Now as you can see over here, I have the app drawer. Now some of you guys may be wondering how come he has an app drawer because by default the app drawer is deactivated on the Samsung Galaxy S8. So all you have to do is press and hold on the screen, go into home screen settings, and then over here tap on the app button 
and then make sure you can either say show apps button which is what I have right now or you can hide them so if I hide them and if I click apply when I go back out the app drawer is in fact gone now if you want to access it you just swipe up for all the apps okay if you don't want it if you do want the app drawer though go back into settings go to apps button and then show apps button click apply go back out now you got that little app drawer right there you tap it you go right in you don't have to pull up okay even though pull up is always available the next tip has to do with pressing and holding on app icons to bring a menu that kind of replicates the right click menu on the windows so basically all you have to do is press and hold on an app and then let go and you'll get this menu from here you can select you can remove the shortcut you can get some app information or if possible you can disable that app if I tap on app info it takes me to the app info screen from where I can make modifications to that app uh, in different ways in the system but of course that is something you have available on all these apps that you're gonna see uh, sitting on your home screen alright let's move on to the next tip the next tip has to do with your messages application if I go into the messages application uh, let me go back out here let's go into this message over here and as you can see it's pretty bland we have a white background and just the regular uh, bubbles over here what you could do is when you're in the main screen what you want to do is tap this icon over here and then go into the settings and then from here you can tap on background and you can change the background of the whole thing so I can choose this I can even go into my gallery and pick any picture that I've taken myself but uh, these are some of the presets over here so I can pick any one of these guys and then I can uh, click back go back in go back into the message and now it's much more exciting now the next thing you can do is if you go into the settings and if you scroll down to advanced features you tap on it you have an option called finger sensor gestures so as you know the fingerprint sensor is on the back of the phone what you could do is you can open and close apps and features with the fingerprint sensor. Let's enable this really quick and tap on it to go inside and let's see, uh, let's see what options we have. So what you could do is you can swipe up or down on the fingerprint sensor to open or close the notification panel. So right now if I wanted to access the notifications panel I would just use my finger to swipe down but what I could do now is I can use the fingerprint sensor as a button to access notifications panel so quickly if I flip this over there's that notification uh, there's that fingerprint sensor and if I swipe down it's gonna bring down the notifications panel swipe up it goes right back down up okay so this is what I'm doing up I mean down up so you can enable this option under the advanced features absolutely fantastic now let me go back out here again in the advanced features there's another feature you might want to enable especially if you have the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus which has a very large display which could be hard to reach sometimes with just one one finger what you want to do is you want to enable the one-handed mode so first you enable it then you go right inside and then you can pick up a gesture to actually activate the one-handed mode you have two options you can actually swipe up diagonally from either bottom corner so you can swipe in from here or here and that's gonna bring up the one-handed mode but what I prefer is this one the button mode so what you do is you can tap the home button three times and that brings up the one-handed mode so let's tap it there we go so now the entire phone has minimized itself so I can access it with one hand now if I were holding the phone like this I can tap this so that it is um, tap this so it's uh, left justified but if I was holding the phone with my right hand, I can uh, right justify it. So if I'm holding the other way around, I can easily access the full screen just by using my thumb. Okay, so this would be my, uh, let's see. There we go. So the phone can be entirely used and manipulated. Even go into the phone, make a phone call using one thumb completely in your control. Not bad at all. And of course, when you're ready to exit the one-handed mode, you can do two things. You can press the settings icon over here and simply disable it, all right? Or you can tap the home button three times also to disable the one-handed mode, just like you made the activation. All right, so the next feature I want to share with you guys is kind of hidden. So what you want to do is you want to go into the settings, go all the way down to general management, and then at the bottom, tap on reset. And what you could do is you can set times for the phone to automatically restart itself. 
Now, why would you want to do that? If you look over here, it tells you exactly why. It says, optimize your device by restarting it automatically at set times. So basically with the Android, every time you restart your phone, it's kind of like refreshing the phone so it works at optimum condition. You don't have to do this every day. So if you enable this and go inside, you can pick a schedule. So let's enable this one more time. Basically what you want to do is you want to pick a time like 3 a.m. when you're asleep and then pick a day of the week. So all you have to do is do it once a week and it's going to make sure that your phone is running at optimum performance at all times. Believe me, I've seen people not restart their phones for months and months and months and it gets cloggy and bloaty and sometimes reduces the performance. So make sure you enable this option. And that brings us to the end of this video. Make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up if you too love the Galaxy S8. Also stay tuned for a full tips and tricks video where I will explore just about everything about this phone. For now, have a fantastic day.